All right, guys, Rob Lewis here, and welcome back to another match day vlog. We're not at the Trafford Centre. We came both ways this evening. My journey took a little longer. The trams kind of failed in Manchester. Points failures. Oh, excuses. It took ages to get here. Um, so that's why we're starting it at just out, just outside Wharfside uh, tram stop. Just resting on this little uh, ledge. Uh, ledge thing. Hopefully you can hear us all right. We've got the AirPods in and I, I don't know, the microphones are very good, but it'll do. Yeah, what uh, do you think? Yeah, uh, SC Copenhagen. We're bottom of the group, aren't we? Uh, we desperately need points. Uh, they've got one point. Uh, it's a win, to be fair, don't we? Yep, massively. Uh, this is the only way is up, as the song goes. Uh, great song from the 80s by Jan. Have you heard No. Of course, no, of course. Anyway, yeah, the early kickoff is Bayern Munich and Galatasaray, which is currently one all. One all. Yep. Which draw would be good, so we've still got to go to uh, Galatasaray and Munich, still got to come to us. We've still got to go to Copenhagen. It's all very up in the air, but we really need to kick on from the poor start of running this group. Uh, anything but a victory is, yeah. is not great. Uh, moving on to tonight, obviously. It's yeah, we have to win. That's yeah, but obviously it's a bit of a sideshow. Uh, obviously with Bobby Charlton yeah. uh, sadly passing away, you know, tonight's pretty much for him. Yeah. Uh, all the you know, the uh, the leaf the, the reef laying and all the tributes and it's all very much uh, it's, it's for him tonight. Uh, so really this is you know the game sort of pushed on one side, even though it is important. Uh, who's going to play? Uh, I think Reggion's back in contention, so he might be able to. Uh, we might be able to field a side with those in the right positions. I want Bayern Deer to start in that, but uh, Ten Hag seems to have his priorities. Even yeah, with, it's not like with you know, these games. It's not like you know, when when uh, he used to have a keeper at Romero. Yeah, he used to do yeah. all the cup games. Yeah, uh, I can see him just sticking on Romero just for confidence, really. But, yeah, definitely. Uh, so yeah, we should have a, a good strong team out. Uh, there's a few injuries here and there, but on paper, Copenhagen, Hoyland's got his younger brother in the squad, Oscar, I think it is. Uh, they've, I'm looking at their past results, they've been winning, winning here and there. It's a Danish league, you know, let's not get too hung up about, you know, we should be beating this lot, we should be beating them. Yeah, but like we said again, we, because obviously we were watching Sheffield United on TV, you alluded to the fact that every team steps their game up you know, obviously Newcastle can put what was it eight past Sheffield United, and we only just managed to put well, well, we, one goal difference past them. So our forwards are not, are not there, are they? Actually, all our goals are coming from someone like Dallow. Uh, I think our forwards have got one goal between them in I don't know how long. So it's time for Rashford, Marshall, yeah. Hoyland to. Uh, they need the service, of course they do, but let's say you know, they've got to start taking chances. So prediction-wise, I don't care. I'd, I'd go for. I well, actually do care goal difference and all that. Uh, well, I don't, I don't really matter on goal difference. All we know. need is the three points I, tonight. I'd like to think we could put three past them tonight. I, I, I'm going to go three nil United. It may be a bit bizarre, but I, I think at some point we're going to kick in. We have to. Tonight, so. um, I'm going for 2-1. I think Copenhagen are definitely going to... 2-1 or 2 United. I think Copenhagen, obviously, definitely going to bring a, a good game to us. I've seen a few of their fans about, so I think they've, they've obviously brought a few quite a few fans over so it's going to be good like I say we don't underestimate these teams especially when when they come to Old Trafford I think anything can happen I mean Galat yeah, see what happened against Galatasaray and plus we've got City things. coming up at the weekend yep. so let's get in a you know, let's get a win and yep. get some momentum going so definitely 3-0 done 2-1 United well, see you I'm going for a United win not an op opposing team as I've done I think most of my predictions because we need, we, we really need three points. Anything yeah. other than three points, I think we're finished. Yeah, I think. Oh, 
So I've just been to see the makeshift memorial around the uh, United Trinity where there's like flowers and scarves in front of things and people have been coming over the past few days paying their tributes, laying scarves, flowers, etc. It all looks quite very nice. Guys, back to the pies. It's red hot. It is red hot. Thank <laughs> you. 
Half time now, United nil, Copenhagen nil. I'm bored of, of like saying different things apart from that we've done nothing. Copenhagen have dominated us, their fans have dominated us. There is nothing positive to say about that first half. You know, you'd think we'd be top of the group with what? Coming into this game, a maximum of six points we could have had, when in fact we're rock bottom. Bayern have got nine points, and it's just like, where's the urgency going forward? There's absolutely nothing. Well, you heard the booze, didn't you? And yeah. that summed it up. And obviously, the, this vlog's not going to have many highlights on it the first no, no. half, so... Uh, I don't understand. I mean, it's an occasion. You know, we should be doing... We should be... It should be celebration of Bobby Charles live. The players should be going out there and playing their socks off and sweating and, and, and putting on a, an entertainment. And it's anything but. It's, it's, you know, it's an embarrassment, to be fair. I can't really, you know, I'm not going to isolate all the players and how poor it's been, but Copenhagen from the start, I mean, they could have been one up early doors. Yeah. Uh, we were leaving gaps all over the place, they've been running rings through, around it and through us. And we just put the ball forward into, into nothing. Backwards, sideways, forwards, backwards, back to the keeper, keeper kicks it out of play. Really, nothing. I can't really say other than that. How's he going to turn it around? But is he going to make changes? You know, is, is he Rashford? Just I mean, I'm not picking on Rashford, but I will. He's done nothing. He's been terrible. Absolutely terrible. I don't know why he does the start of game anymore. I'm saying that, but it's been an all-round very, very poor yes, performance. It has. it has. Against an average, well, well-oiled Copenhagen team. I think. We need some in the second half. Whether he makes a change or sorts the tactics out at half time, something else to challenge wise, we're going nowhere with this.
is our sub. We're eventually allowed to make it. Oil and off, Martial on. The referees indicated a minimum of four minutes and in time. Keepers coming up, I'm nervous. Well, they're checking it. Penalty for Alex Booten in the head. Now, he either missed his head, he still went down. I mean, either way, it's going to be chirped, but um, yeah. Let's throw away another game, shall we? Like we do most games. Man United won, Copenhagen nil. I thought for the first half we were non-existent. Copenhagen did the talking on and off the pitch. The fans have been great for our probably the best set of fans I've seen here. Fair play to them. Then in the second half it was down to Maguire's head to get us that goal. Great cross by Ericsson, great header by Maguire. And then in the end, the penalty, I don't even think it was a penalty. I'll have to see it again, it looks soft. But then Anana, to be fair, it wasn't the greatest penalty in the world, but Anana's our hero tonight. <laughs> Seems at the end. Who'd have thought that? We move on to Sunday. Our performance has to be better on Sunday. Otherwise, I'm going to be honest, we'll get turned over. But listen, you take what it is. Massive three points. Come on.